Hello again, everybody. This is Michael Quincy Strutman from Emmy Lighting International. Today we talk about, again, we talk about the magic button. And we've had the programmer time in the last video, tips and tricks for you. And now we talk about the exact time. A lot of parallel things happen to them. So if it's switched off, it's dark green. If it's activated, it's light green. And now all your cues take this timing. How do I get this fader down here? We've had that before with our programmer time. I do it again. Store me a time on an empty fader. The console asks you, what type of timing do you want? Programmer time, executor time. I want the executor time. And there it describes to you what it does. Overrides Q fade and on and off times and set Q delay to zero. That means the on and off timings are done by this as well, and it overrides your Q timings that you've had before. So store me a time on here, and I want the exit time. This gives you a lot of possibilities. I select my lights, and I will tell them at add, add, so they will take the programmer time. Because these are, these are hand-given values. Add, add. Programmer time says them to go to there. There I have a queue that's called narrow. That sets my lights to a narrow beam angle. Let's have a look. In my queue list, it says fade time zero. So what will happen if I switch on my narrow? They go as quick as they can to the narrow position. And if I switch it off, it does it as well. I throw an eye on here. In the queue, the fade time is zero. And now I activate this one. And you can see there's a little sign coming up. This means it overrides your queue timing. So this one gives me now the on and off time. Off me this one. in that time. That's wonderful. If you need quick and on and off time, you can do that. Let's have a look in a queue list. I have a queue list here. Let's have a look at it. I throw an eye on this one. You see three queues, all the fade times are one second. Off me this one and clear my programmer. Clear my programmer takes this timing. Now I have the first queue in my list. Let's have a look. It's a preparation queue, fades one second. So in one second they go to their position and prepare for the next queue, which is cross golden gobo. Fade time one second. So in one second they light up. And looks like this. And in another fade time of one second, they go to queue number three, center pale yellow. Great. Now I adjust this to three seconds. So my prep queue takes three seconds and it's overwritten. The original fade time of one second per queue is overwritten by this now. And now it takes 3.1 second to light up. And show me that cross golden gobo and 3.1 second to go to pale yellow open. So executor time fader overrides the original one. And so you can see the off time is 0, 0.0 seconds. If I need a quick off time, must look good, then I chase two seconds and say, off me, please, this one. And it takes two seconds, even if you have no off or on time written down into your queues. That's the executor timing, programmer timing. I forgot in the programmer timing, what are the buttons doing? So it switches on, off, and on in general your timing. 
And again, this works linear from zero to 10 seconds. So you could say executor 1.2 at 50 means at five seconds. So execute the timing very short, overrides your original queue timing. And it gives you a quick on and off time. That's it, folks. Take care. Happy programming. Play around a little bit with this. We will come back with the other magic timings. And this will be done by Lars. Take care. This was Michael Quincy Stratman. Happy programming. Bye-bye.